In a time where inflation is skyrocketing, the US dollar is losing its power and trust in the economy is at an all-time low, people were outraged at the 2024 Met Gala. Displaying vast amounts of wealth in a period of social unrest, feeling like the elite are in the capital while the rest are in District 12. District 12's very first volunteer. So let's talk about a very interesting movement that's happening right now that's going very viral. I've said before that people are waking up to the hypnosis of the world, if you want to call it that, just a lot of the schemes of the devil, quite frankly. Now, I'm not hating on celebrities. I'm not hating on companies. I'm not saying any of that. But there is clearly a worship going on for certain people. Something happened at this year's Met Gala 2024. A huge realization or a breakthrough. I mean, this gala was always an insanely overrated event, but this year, the rest of the world decided that they are sick of celebrities. Let them eat cake. He take the bomb. Are we bringing back the guillotines anytime soon? The children have said enough is enough! The Met Gala is something I've I've never been interested in. But recently, not just recently, but lately in the last few years, I find these events quite disgusting. <laughs> and I know you can chalk it off to people just being jealous of other people's wealth and success, but it's not jealousy. There's one thing, like I don't care if in Zendaya has $18 million in her bank account, whatever. But there's another thing to take that $18 million and slap you in the fucking face with it. That's the thing that's kind of disgusting. I thought I was the only one who felt this way about the Met Gala until recently. I saw all of a sudden all these videos came up about the Met Gala. So it just looks like I'm jumping on the trend train. But I've always felt like this motherfucker. So I don't, other people have their different stance about the Met Gala. There are a lot of people who are bashing the Met Gala because of what's going on in, in Gaza with the Palestinians and Israel. A lot of people are bashing them for that. Like there's a fucking war going on and there's children dying. How dare you? <laughs> Off the stairs of the Met, the dress which was made of While this is an actual reality. And so for those of you that are getting upset with us, um, activists, and those of us that are protesting against this genocide, I'm going to need you guys to wake up. This is a real life dystopian. And I guess I just want to ask you, whose side would you be on? That's not really my stance because there's literally always wars going on and there's always children dying. So I don't think we should all just stop our lives because we would literally never get anything done. But my stance is is two things. It's, it's the, the vulgar expression of your wealth during a time where people are literally suffering, living mouth to mouth. The homeless rate is skyrocketing. The mental health rate is skyrocketing. People don't know how they're going to pay the next bills. Most people, I think there's even a movement of people just stop paying their bills. People are fucking financially suffering all over the world. So that's one thing. The second thing is, it's just like this... This is a very apparent show how much America, at least, or the West, idolize our celebrities like they are gods. Something happened at this year's Met Gala 2024. A huge realization or a breakthrough. I mean, this gala was always an insanely overrated event, but this year, the rest of the world decided that they are sick of celebrities. Sick of the gap that's being created between everyday people and the rich riches of the world. Sick of the tone-deaf content that's pushed on them day in and day out. We found out that the single ticket or a seat at the gala costs $75,000. I don't know if you guys know this, but not all countries pay their actors so much money and absorb an amount of wealth the way that we do. That's why a lot of actors from other countries want to come to America to act because they know they will become more famous, they know they will make more money, and they know they will have more influence because in America, we do that for our celebrities. In other countries, they might make a decent living to live off of, but they don't become these multi, multi-millionaire billionaires like they do in America and in the West. I think the way, the amount we pay our celebrities or the, our actors or just too much. I don't really understand it. And I'm an actor. I understand the work that it goes into developing a character and acting and being on set and all the shit you have to do. And depending on the, the role, it, ha it can be extremely intense or it can be less intense. I get that these people are talented and they should be paid for their talent and they should be paid for their time and they should be paid for their art. However, not the fucking amount that we're paying them. I think it's really ridiculous. And I think we can do other things with that money. And this is not me saying distribute the wealth. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying logically as a person, there's other things we can be doing with that money. Even the amount of money we spend on movies is ridiculous. When we have other studios like A24 who's shown us you do not have to spend $50 billion on a movie to make it good. And even when you do spend $50 billion on these trash blockbusters, 
they flop anyway they don't even do well what are you spending all this money on i'm personally coming to the conclusion that it's just all a fucking money laundering scheme because you say you're spending 50 billion dollars on something and 50 million and then the movie sucks like really did you really spend that much money in the movie or did you did you just launder that shit but again i don't know how to fix that i'm not a person that's like distribute the wealth i don't know i just think when i see other countries do it differently i don't understand why we can't do the same like why are why like people go to to medical school to become brain surgeons and heart surgeons and they're making less than someone who's you know having 15 minutes of fame on a movie set but my biggest problem is not really the financial part my biggest problem is the fact that it just shows the world how much we idolize our celebrities, you know, the false idols, the false gods. We give them so much power. We give them such a big influence. For what? They're actors. That doesn't mean they're brilliant. That doesn't mean they're intelligent. That doesn't mean they're philosophical. That doesn't mean they're, they have good principles or good values or good morals. It doesn't mean they're someone to be listened to. Why are we pedestalizing these people? I don't even know if that's a word, but why are we lifting them up such on a high standard when all they're doing is acting? Yes, some of them are brilliant, amazing actors, but that's what they're doing. They're just not, they're just acting. They're not saving the world. They're not curing cancer. And trust me, I know, I know some art, some movies, some music can really speak to someone so personally, but on a whole, as a whole, they're not doing anything that spectacular, but we give them such a platform to say whatever they wish, and then we must listen to them. We shouldn't, but a lot of people do, simply because they're celebrities. So let's talk about a very interesting movement that's happening right now that's going very viral. I've said before that people are waking up to the hypnosis of the world, if you want to call it that, just a lot of the schemes of the devil. There is clearly a worship going on for certain people. That when you are at a concert, if you are following somebody, then you are seeing them practically worship this person. I know that there was always some sort of like glamorization around celebrities, especially starlets in the 30s. But there was a point, I think, in the 90s and in the 80s that actors didn't actually dress up very, very like uh, gaudy because it was seen as you're not going to be taken serious as an actor. Actors usually dress up like serious actors. They would wear suits and I mean, the women would wear pantsuits or, or very simple black dress or something like that, keep their hair and their makeup very simple because they were serious actors and they weren't models, they weren't glamour girls, they weren't starlets, they were wanted to be taken as serious actors. So there was a point in time where Hollywood didn't do all this fuss about fashion and makeup and hair when it came to celebrities. This is fairly recent and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. You cannot look at as much as she's so magnificently beautiful and trust me, I love her dress and I love her makeup and I love the whole thing. But you cannot look at Zendaya and you can't look at Kim Kardashian who looked like in utter pain and that was, it was just, it was scary to watch. And you can't tell me you're not thinking of the Hunger Games right now. It's basically the Hunger Games in real life. Look at us. We eat cake. Look at you. You just poor as fuck. It was very much a display to you right in front of your face where this can go if we keep letting it go that way. We don't have to live the same way you live. Like, we want you to contribute to society when it comes to global warming, but we're rich and important. We need our private jets. And I think more and more people are realizing this, and I think that's why award shows like the the Emmys and the Golden Globes, the ratings are plummeting and they're doing every des desperate virtual signaling fucking thing they can do to try to bring people in. So I, I, I personally will like to see these things stop being televised. I'm not saying they can't do their little, like, look at me, I'm so beautiful and rich party. They can do that all they want. But for me, I don't understand why we need to see it. Why are you displaying this to us? Like, what is the message you're trying to send to us? Like, why is this on camera? Like, yes, a lot of these clothing, dresses, jewelry are borrowed to celebrities, but some of them buy them. Why does a working class struggling mother of two need to see a celebrity wearing a dress that costs the amount that can actually change her life forever? The amount that, that the dress that Zendaya is wearing, or the amount the cost of the dress that Kim Kardashian is wearing can literally change someone's life financially. You should be able to wear it, but why shove it and push it in everybody's face? But then again, do you? I don't care. I just, I just, Watching clips of the Met Gala just made me just go like, this is the Hunger Games, it will stop. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Met Gala and what I said, and if you think this is very like elitist of what they're doing, displaying their wealth. Not that you mind that they have wealth, but displaying it the way they are, you know, stuff like that. Just let me know what you guys think what I said in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps with the algorithm, guys. And for the love of God, can you donate? <laughs>
If you like what you saw and you want to support this channel, my PayPal and Cash App link is in the comment section down below. And you can super thanks and you guys have an amazing, beautiful day. It's freaking laying back. Bye. Let them eat cake. Who took the bomb?